am heading home now and I feel like poo. Ever since yesterday, I've been kind of in and out of a fever and I do not feel great. Hello, I am home now and I just changed, but I wanna wash my face because I want to kind of get ready for bed now so that I don't have to wash my face later. The boat is kind enough to be taking care of me in sickness because I mean, he did promise to, we are married now, but uh, he's making dinner. And I am going to take my temperature because um, yesterday when I checked my temperature, I think I was at, um, I don't know, uh, 99 uh, Fahrenheit and 30, I don't know, 39 point something Celsius. I don't remember, but I'm going to try again now because this morning I didn't have uh, too much of a fever, but I feel like my fever came back. So we'll see. It says I was 37.1 this morning. Okay, so it is reading 38.6 is not good. I believe the regular body temp for a human person is only 36.8 to 37. So that seems high. Let's see what that is in Fahrenheit. What is 38.6 Celsius in Fahrenheit? 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit. What's the body temperature in Fahrenheit? Let me check on that. The answer is 96.3 to 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too bad. I'm kind of, uh, kind of average. On a side note, I got this brush in the mail. I picked this up on Amazon. It was dirt cheap. It was like $3. I don't know if it's good or not. It is, um, a knockoff of the Artiste brushes and also the MAC, uh, I don't know what they're called, but the brushes from MAC that are like this. But I've heard so much hype about this style of brush, and before I invest in an Artiste brush, I wanted to just try it out. Like I said, this is a knockoff, so who knows if it'll even be good. But if it's even remotely fun to use, or easy to use, or provides a good application, then I'm definitely going to splurge for an Artiste brush. But um, I will link the seller that I bought this brush at below. Uh, but I'll try it tomorrow and let you know if I like it. I'm currently having some of our wedding cake while we watch Fresh Off the Boat. So I just washed this brush because I want to make sure it's clean before I use it. So I'm going to let it dry and try it tomorrow morning. Also, I got a voicemail from the people who did my first set of eyelash extensions. First new message. Hi, Lisa. Kimmy Crook calling from Glow Days um, I just actually saw your review today, and I would love to talk to you about it. I talked to the staff that took care of you, um, and they, they, they were kind of shocked. So I'd really like to follow up with you and uh, see what we can do. Okay, thank you so much. You can actually call me back at Glow if you get this message within the next step. Your message will be saved. So that was the message. Apparently, they were shocked that I did not enjoy my experience. I did not put up a huge stink at the salon because, first of all, when I first got the eyelash extensions applied, I was the last uh, appointment of the day and they closed right after I left. So um, obviously I couldn't go back in and say, hey, like what the hell? Um, and they were closed the following day because they're closed on Sundays. So by the time Monday rolled around, I had kind of cooled off. And um, also I was so close to my wedding and I had so many last minute plans to do. I don't have the time to go down to the salon and beg to talk to someone with authority to rectify the situation. I just, I didn't have that time. So I did write a negative review on their Google page and I also attached a photo um, because I want people to know that they don't offer a great service for that. So I don't know how their other services are because I've only gone there for eyelash extensions, but uh, just solely based on my experience uh, with that, I definitely wouldn't recommend them. And I, I put that in my review. I was just totally honest. I even attached a photo of the horrific job that they did. So there's that. Good morning. It is Thursday. So it's the last day of my work week because tomorrow I am off. And unfortunately, I'm still feeling slightly under the weather. I no longer have a fever. So that's great because fevers suck. Um, I have a slight cough. But a cough is manageable. A fever can really like bring you down, but a cough, I can manage a cough, that's no problem. So I thought we would get ready this morning and try out this 
brush. I don't know what to call it. Um, I don't even know what size this is, but it's a fairly small brush. So if you can see it compared to my face, um, it's quite small. So we'll see how it goes. I think I mentioned it already, but I am planning on getting a haircut. Um, so one thing I'm gonna miss about having long hair is braids because during my second day hair, sometimes I don't feel like doing anything with my hair. Um, but if I put in a braid, it still looks put together even though technically I didn't wash my hair. So I'm gonna miss that, but I am planning on getting it cut. I don't know how short yet, but that is happening in the next couple of weeks. Someone asked me on Snapchat if I could recreate my wedding day look, so I will do a video on that. Seriously, it was the easiest look ever. I was kind of rushing at that point to do my makeup because my uh, hair my hair took a bit of time to do, and uh, it was hard for me to like do my makeup while she was doing my hair. So uh, I kind of rushed it. I did my makeup in probably 15 minutes before I left, which is still pretty good because it, it still turned out well. So. I'm gonna have to get a foundation for this because I want to use, lately I've been using the Dior Nude Air, but uh, I want something a little bit more creamy than that. So I think maybe Luminous Silk. So yeah, let's try it with the Armani Luminous Silk. Again, I am 6.5 in this. So I'll just put one pump. I'm not really sure how to do this, so I just put my brush in it maybe. It does apply really nicely. The bristles on this brush are actually quite soft considering it was only $3. <laughs> I gotta say I really like this. It applies really nicely. You guys, I'm home from work now and I sound awful. This is my voice right now. Um, I had a bit of a sore throat this morning. No fever though, so I actually feel really good. Um, it's just that my voice sounds like shit. But um, yeah, I don't think I help matters because today's Thursday and Thursdays I do a lot of training at work. So I was talking a lot probably in total like three and a half hours worth of talking just like basically non-stop yeah so i sound awful um but on the bright note is today's my friday so tomorrow i'm going to ottawa with my mom for a couple days i think i already mentioned it but um as a mother's day gift to her i'm taking her to ottawa to see the tulip festival because she's always wanted to go check that out so we're staying at the um fairmont chateau laurier and there's a Nordstrom sale. I'm pretty sure Ottawa has a Nordstrom and, and it's their semi-annual sale, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna go check the mail right now, which is why I have my hat on, because it's still pretty sunny and I'm using some hydroquinone on my face and I don't want too much sun exposure. I am currently hanging my bouquet upside down to dry it out. So it's Thursday now, Thursday night, and um, I'm just gonna see how well this works. I'm gonna come check on you when I come home on Saturday. I just went out and I did some errands. I got a couple of things from Shoppers Drug Mart that I needed, um, and I also got some medicine to take to get better, hopefully. I also still have to pack for Ottawa. Um, it's supposed to be a nice weekend, so maybe I'll pack some shorts. I got a nail polish. This is in um, Blanc, which is just white. I wanted to repaint my nails tonight. I'm not sure if I'll have time though. I got a smaller version of the Aven Thermal Spray because I wanted to be able to keep one in my bag. I have the big one that I keep in the bathroom and this is the medium sized one. They also have one smaller than this. And um, some sunscreen, the La Roche-Posay. I've gone back to this one. Normally I get the comfort one which is the cream um, but I decided I would go for the ultra light version which is more of a lotion texture. And this is my favorite sunscreen. It's actually also the highest rated um, sunscreen on Consumer Reports, which means it must work. And the last thing I picked up is a necessity in my world when I'm sick, and it's the vapor rub. And I actually much prefer the Life Brand version to the Vicks version. I don't know why, I just feel like this one works a little bit better. 
This is like my version of the green juice. The bow makes it for me. Um, and I don't know what it's in it. I think kale and carrots and other stuff like that, but I like it. Um, it's not my favorite, it's not my go-to, but especially when I'm sick, I, I feel like it, it works a little bit better. Good morning. In case you're wondering, I still sound like shit, <laughs> but I'm getting ready now to leave. I'm going to pick my mom up and then from my mom, we're going to head to Ottawa. We're now in Ottawa. My mom's just getting um, a little tab for street parking. But the Tulip Festival actually happens in like five different locations. We are going to the first one. I think it's called Commissioner's Park. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Commissioner's Park right now and uh, yeah the tulips are really cool some of them are really unique actually we're now in a uh, plaza um, there's like a huge cineplex here but um, this is where the indoor uh, tulip is installment is it's in the Aberdeen uh, Pavilion. So we're checked in now, and like I mentioned, we we're sitting at the Chateau Laurier. And the first thing I always do when I go into a hotel room is, aside from like jumping on the bed and stuff, but I always check to see what kind of um, amenities they have. So these are the products that they have. So they're the the Labo um, Rose Shampoo, Conditioner, Shower Gel, and Perfume Body Lotion along with along with some hand soap. And this is a shower by the way, really nice. Um, but they also have some more soap in there. Although the Chateau Laurier is a pretty um, upscale uh, hotel in Ottawa, I think we can all safely agree that it's a bit of a creepy hotel just because it's so old fashioned. I feel like it's haunted. I gotta say though that the elevators are pretty quick, which is definitely a plus. call it a night, rest my voice. Uh, dinner was really great. We went to Big Easy Seafood and Steakhouse, I think. But it was delicious. It was a recommendation from my boss. And it was really good. I would highly recommend it if you're in Ottawa. And I will link it below or put the address below in case you're interested. I had the beef tenderloin and uh, we also had a crab cake as an appetizer and creme brulee for dessert. It was very good. Anyway, this ends day one in Ottawa and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning.
checking out Parliament Hill, which is behind me here. This is Elisa's first attempt at gardening. Yeah. This is chicken and waffles, and this is prime rib hash. Hello, it is Wednesday today, and I haven't vlogged since I got home from Ottawa because for the last three days, I've had zero voice. So my voice is starting to come back. I don't really know if I'm supposed to be talking on it. I asked my doctor and he said I could try. It's not going to make things worse um, as long as I, I don't whisper. He said whispering was bad. He just told me not to overdo it. But he said I could talk, you know, for a couple minutes every hour or so, but just not to overdo it. So I'm taking my couple minutes this hour to tell you guys that I was really sick. But I had an amazing time in Ottawa. It was really fun. I went with my mom, as you guys know. And uh, yeah, I had so much fun. I don't know if you guys remember, but in a vlog, I don't know, a really long time ago, I was talking about how um, at work, I was relocated into a, a different building because my, my old work building was getting renovated. Well, a year has passed since then, and we're now actually moving back to our newly renovated uh, building, which is, um, we have to, we're moving this Friday and Monday. So basically we have to pack on Friday and Monday, and then we're gonna be in our new space on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, I've just been, I've been at work. Um, I've been fortunately been able to get by without using my voice too much at work. Um, tomorrow, Thursday, I would normally do training, but my boss is actually going to take over for me so I don't uh, strain my voice too much, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, I've actually just been avoiding phone calls. So I went to the doctor on Tuesday and uh, he prescribed me a powder cortisone. I basically have to inhale it um, through my mouth and uh, I think it's been working because my, my voice is coming back slowly. He said that my voice would be hoarse for a while though, which is whatever. The boat is currently outside right now, um, building our shed, and I'm gonna go out and water my beautiful garden, which I'm really proud about. I don't have a green thumb, but I'm very proud of that garden. <laughs> <laughs> 